Hello, and welcome to Bearing in Mind Beer Reviews. Uh, today we are beginning a series of uh, 12 reviews from, uh, for beers from Y Market Company. Uh, and I'm going to introduce Y Market briefly, and then we will get on to the beers. There are 12 beers that we're going to look at in, in order. And in general, I'm trying to uh, set them up in order of uh, strength, alcoholic strength, uh, no other reason than just to set up some kind of order for them. Y Market is a, a brewery in Nagoya, Japan, which is generally regarded as the third city, uh, third largest city uh, in Japan after Tokyo and Osaka. Um, and Nagoya did not have much of a beer scene uh, uh, for quite a while, and they have kind of caught up now. Uh, but certainly Y Market is the premier brewer in that part of Japan. Uh, they opened in 2014 and there was a lot of buzz surrounding uh, the development and uh, opening of this brewery. Uh, the brewer, uh, whose name is uh, <coughs> uh, Kachi uh, Makoto, he had worked for Kisoji Brewery in, uh, uh, in Nagano and uh, later uh, they added uh, Nakanishi-san, who had been at Ise Kadoya in uh, Ise, Mie Prefecture. So uh, two very two well-experienced brewers. Um, uh, Kakchi studied in Canada and <clears throat> uh, got involved with uh, brewing there. And, and uh, <clears throat> Nakanishi, I'm not sure where he worked uh, before that, but they're both uh, very well-experienced brewers. Uh, the name Y Market is uh, their original brew house was in the uh, Yanagibashi Market in Nagoya, so they decided to call it Y Period Market Brewing. After that, um, they opened in 2014, and in 2014 they were chosen as uh, the best new brewer in Japan by RateBeer.com. Um, so they came out of the gate you know, uh, just with, you know, all cylinders firing and produce a lot of interesting beers. People were talking about them. It seemed like they kind of rested on their laurels for a while, and I think maybe they're, they're coming back uh, with stronger stuff. Um, they started with a 1,000 liter system, and then uh, in 2018 uh, built a new brewery with a 30 kiloliter system, so quite a bit uh, bigger. And they started canning one year ago uh, from now, uh, from today, which is, uh, we're now in, in March. And uh, they began canning and the 12 can set, which we're gonna look at, is actually an anniversary set of the one year canning date uh, when they first started canning. So, uh, all right, and here we go with number six from Y Market Brewing uh, out of the 12 we're going to look at. And this one is also a lighter style. This one is called Techno Pills. And this is, uh, they list it as a German Pilsner and it comes in at 5.5% alcohol, 23.6 uh, IBU, perhaps a little high in uh, bitterness for for the pills, we'll see how it goes. Uh, the hops are not strictly German Pilsner uh, style hops, but they are uh, uh, called Horizon and Amarillo. So in our last video, we looked at uh, uh, their Mayon Lager, and that had a lot of fruitiness to it, uh, uh, which we don't nor should necessarily associate with a lager. Uh, but Y Market tends to uh, push some boundaries, and they are probably doing it with this one here by uh, including uh, non-noble hop uh, ingredients. And on Rate Beer, this one has four ratings only. Uh, it's a new one for them, or a new, newer one in their lineup. Uh, only since 2019 have they been making this one. It has four ratings and uh, 3.5 uh, points out of five on Rate Beer. And and no percentile ratings for all beers or for the style uh, because it simply doesn't have enough ratings yet. Okay, so Techno Pills, 5.5%. Shall we give this one a go? Again, this is part of the 12-pack set which they were selling 
for their uh, first year of canning anniversary, first year of beer in cans, and uh, it sold out in a day. Um, Okay, this is crystal clear, bright gold, kind of medium, medium color. Carbonation, what do we see? Very, very fine carbonation rising. And a compact finger or so of white head. So very pretty, very clear, nice beer. Oh, okay. Well, the, the aroma certainly is grassy right away. I'm getting some yeast, a little bit of citrus, very grainy. Uh, definitely has a pilsner, pilsner nose to it. Absolutely. Uh, there's a touch of something a little bit cit more citrusy than most pilsners might have, uh, but definitely the main main note is a solid pilsner malt, uh, kind of grainy, kind of grassy. Mm. Very impressive, really. Uh, a little bit bready in mid palate, a little bit of bread, kind of flavor and then it returns back to the kind of citrusy note. Uh, the finish is a little bit dry. One friend of mine said this is probably an India pale lager and not a pills. I don't know, I, in spite of the fact it doesn't have noble hops, the pills malt or the Pilsner style malt, whatever it is, uh, comes through in this for sure. So, uh, I could say it's not completely Pilsner, perhaps, but it's, uh, uh, again, kind of a boundary-pushing Pilsner. Mm. Very tasty. Very pleasant. Uh, this would be a beer you could drink, you know, solidly through, uh, you know, through an evening. And so, once again, this is Y Market's uh, Techno Pils, 5.5%. A little bit bitter, more bitter than many Pilsners, but very tasty. Uh, this one, you should really try this one out, I think. Uh, Wine Market has an online, uh, they have an online shopping site. Uh, you can go online, I'll put a link to, to the information for this beer, and from that you can go on to their online uh, site to uh, buy beers if you like. And during this time, uh, when many bars and restaurants are closing due to the coronavirus, I think a lot of these places deserve our support. A friend of mine who's a brewmaster at a, a brewery in Kyoto said that their sales are down 40, 50 percent uh, since you know January. So you know these people deserve our support. We need to help them keep going and buying their products online is one way to do it. And I think my market is a very deserving candidate, uh, not just for sympathy, but for good beer as well. So give them a try. That's it. Uh, take care. I hope you're healthy and staying away from uh, people and <laughs> enjoying what you can enjoy. All right. Subscribe to the channel if you would like to receive updates on uh, what I'm doing. I tend to post a, a, re a review every day or so, and, uh, and uh, I appreciate your comments as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.